Hello! Hello everyone! Welcome to my third Halloween makeup tutorial of this year. I personally wanted to save what I think is my best one to last. I'm really, really pleased with how this turned out. So costume wise, I got the jacket and the trousers on Depop, but the jacket was originally from Primark and the trousers were originally from H&M. And I just added my little bandeau top underneath it because I wanted it to be a little bit more girly. And I just threw on some big chunky boots that I also got from H&M. The wig I got from Wig is Fashion. It just kind of came up in one of their flash sales and I was like, that is perfect, that's it. And it cost me like 19 quid, which was really decent. It's not a lace front, but for me, that doesn't matter because I've got dark hair anyway. One last thing I will say to add is you can pick up these snazzy little numbers from Primark. They are 250. To be honest, they're more kind of Jack Skellington nails. The stripey ones, like, and the diamond diamondy ones, you can definitely use them for Beetlejuice. I'm going to be putting them on before I go out. Go and pick yourself up some of these. So now that the costume has been explained, this was a really quick intro, but I just want to get straight into it. So let's just dive straight into the makeup part of the video. It's showtime. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I realize how naked I look right now. I swear to God, I am dressed. Let's do this. As usual, using this as my primer. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Oh, uh, you don't need a lot of this. I think someone's cutting grass or something outside. Like all I can hear is this like veem, de veem, veem. Anyway, like every other Halloween video I've done this year, I am using NYX's Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation in the shade Pale because it's the perfect Halloween shade. Boom. And then for concealer, I'm using the Lasting Perfection stuff by Collection, the same stuff I always use in the shade Extra Fair because it's Beetlejuice, he's really goddamn pale. I'm just going to add some more foundation to my neck because it's not pale enough. I'm bringing this right down my neck because all of this will be exposed. To set my face, I'm using the Ultra Fine Powder by MUA and hope that it doesn't go everywhere this time. It's so difficult not to breathe this stuff in. Well, that went better than last time in my Bellatrix video because that was a disaster. Went everywhere. Oh. It's gone everywhere again. How do people do this without getting this everywhere? I love that every character I've done this year for Halloween has been like super pale and I thought I was pale beforehand but this Halloween has like made me realise that I just, I'm really not. Now that that base is down, we are doing contouring. For this, I have got my big colourful palette here. I've got this green here. I've also got these slimy colours which I think I'm going to use and I'm just taking an angled brush for this. So you want to do your cheekbones. You also want to bring it round the top of your face too, just so you've got a nice kind of green glow going on. And I'm now just adding that kind of lime greeny colour over the top because that first green was quite dark so I want to make it more slimy looking. And I'm now just going to go under my chin with this as well. I'm going to bring that green down my nose slightly. I just want to get that lime green looking way brighter so I'm just using my finger and kind of smudging it at the top and then just blending that a bit more. I'm now taking the Anastasia, the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly, oh my god I can't speak today, Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Thing set, yes. We got there and I'm using the Lucky Clover one because it has a slight green to it, like it's, it's green. I just jabbed myself in the eye, ow. I'm just rubbing this on my finger to drag it down my nose because I want that, I want that to be really strong.
Okay, now that that's all done, we're gonna do eyebrows. Beetlejuice is another one of these that you've kind of got free reign, kind of greenish skin, purple eyes, but you can kind of do whatever you want because I'm doing a more glam version of him. I'm just kind of winging it, I won't lie. But I'm pretty much just doing my, my eyebrows how I naturally normally do them. Yeah, I've totally messed up that eyebrow, look at that. I won't lie, I don't even know what Beetlejuice's eyebrows are like. Does he even have eyebrows? I don't know. Eyebrows? Eyebrows. But as I said, you've kind of got free reign. It's a glam version, you can do what you want. I'm just here to advise. Are they even? Are they? Does it matter? Not really. I don't know. Oh, I've just dropped my eyebrow thing down the bed. Feck. You know what? They'll do for me. I don't care. Next up, priming me eyeballs, as I usually do. Rubbing it in. Rubby rub rub. Bringing it round as well because Beetle just has big, big eyes. So we're going to do our, the best we can to emulate that. Going back to me big old colour palette here. I need a good purple for this. Um, let's have a look see. Oh my god, this palette is too big for words. I want one that's not too pinky purple. I want it more a kind of bluey violety purple. Oh, so much choice. I'm gonna start with that one there. This will be my base coat. And just completely covering my lid with this and going underneath as well because Beetle just has those huge dark eyes right into the corner of your eye as well and underneath into the bag area of your eye. And that's our base. I'm making my eyes water. Why is this eye watering? I don't need this right now. So we've done our purple base. I am now going to darken it up. Oh my God, that eye is so leaky. Why? I mean, it's because I jabbed myself in the eye. I want to darken this up a bit. So I think I'll go in with this one first and then use that one. I'm basically just covering what I've just done with this purple because I do want this look to be really quite dark. Right into the corner of your eye and right underneath into the bag area. Please place your items in the bagging area. Unexpected item in the bagging area. Okay, next. I'm now taking a slightly smaller fluffy brush, going in with that darker purple I pointed out, but we're just gonna go into the crease and round. Just at the edges of your eyeball and round the top like so. No, don't you dare start leaking eyeball. And then just bring that underneath your eye as well. My left eye is leaking so much because I jabbed myself in the eye. Uh. Okay, so now take the first brush that you use, the first fluffy brush, and just kind of go around the edges, starting to like buff out the purple. Even though Beetle just has quite solid lines around the edge of his makeup. I don't want solid lines around my makeup, so just buffing this out right around the edges. You're buffing it out right up to your eyebrow. Shake, 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 Sonora. Shake your body like work, 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 Sonora. Work it all the time. Dance, 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 Sonora. Looking pretty spooky, yeah? I want this to be slightly darker. I am now using the Makeup Revolution Flawless Matte Palette, my favourite. I am gonna go in with the darkest colour in that palette right into my crease and right round and underneath. Now my right eye's leaking, like seriously, I, just let me do this makeup without leakage, please. The darkest purple brush you used. Just buff that out a little bit. And then the first fluffy brush again. Right up to your eyebrows. I always find it so difficult to tell if things are matching or not, especially when you've got a leaky eye that keeps ruining things. Yeah, dark and spooky, that's what we like. Um, what now? Do I want eyeliner on this? Do I? Mm, don't know. The next thing I am using is the Sleek, don't know what it is, it just says Original 594, but it's that one there and I'm just going to take some of the purple, put it just in the middle there and to the inside. Because it is a glam look, we do want a little bit of sparkle and shine. Sparkle! Yeah, yeah, I'm liking it. Yeah, 
I don't know if I want eyeliner on this or not, I can't decide. I think I kind of like it just as it is actually, because I really don't want to ruin it. If my leaky eye stops, I had like all of these glitters that I was going to use. I don't think I'm going to. I love this colour, so if anything I might use a bit of that, but I would say definitely put some eyelashes on with this. I'm not going to today because I can't be arsed. I hate doing mascara. I hate it. I hate it. Ooh, me. This leaky eye is doing my absolute head in. For the lips, I am going to use the Black Moon Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Hazel, funnily enough. I got it in their Autumn Trio last year. It's the, just the perfect kind of slimy, muddy green colour for Beetlejuice. I love this colour so much, it's amazing. The last thing that I'm going to do is take, again, the same liquid lipstick. I'm just going to dab a little bit onto the sponge here. Beale just has all that kind of slimy stuff around him. I'm going to see what happens. Because he's a bit minging and gross. Yeah, that's working for me. Obviously, we don't want this to be neat. Just bringing it up into my eyebrow a little bit. The last thing I'm going to do is do a little bit of And that is the makeup done. I am now going to wash my hands really quickly and then I'm going to show you the costume, the wig, everything else. Now that the makeup's done, we're going to put the wig on. First things first, the wig cap. I look so naked right now. I swear I do have a top on. The wig that I got is from Wig is Fashion. This is she. That is the exact colour that I wanted, like that slimy green colour and there's some yellowy tones in there as well. I am super chuffed with this fine. Oh my god, there is hair everywhere. So this is the finished makeup Beetlejuice look. I'm gonna go get into costume. I'm really, really pleased with how this turned out. like I'm naked. I'm not. Look, I do have the top on, I promise. That is it. It's my final Halloween video of the year. It's done and I'm sad, but I'm really, really pleased with what I managed to do this year and I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching these videos. Let me know what you think. What was your favourite one? Did you like Wednesday? Did you like Bellatrix? Have you enjoyed the My Beetlejuice one? I think this is personally my favourite. Yeah. Let me know what you're going as. I would love to see costumes. I will see you in the next one. Beetlejuice out. <laughs>